Howdy friends, welcome back to Ride With Purpose. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about uh, Bonanza Boots. Let's finish up this review and uh, tell you guys what I think about this long-term experiment I've been doing. Let's go. All right, now let's do a quick uh, disclaimer before we get this video rolling. I'm actually home now, um, down here in the Yeti Cave. This is where the uh, new studio is going to be. And uh, editing the video, and I just wanna say, you know, again, a review is a review. It's my personal opinion on the product. It may not line up with yours. So um, before I get a bunch of hate mail and, and shitty comments, um, I bought this, it sucks. Well, it doesn't suck for me, so sorry. So again, that's why I really don't like doing review stuff too much when it comes to a product like that, because I may like it, you may think it sucks, or vice versa, but just do your research and uh, educate yourself on the product before you buy. All right, onward. What's up, gang? Like we talked about in the intro, we're going to be uh, concluding our long-term review of Bonanza Boots. As you can see, I'm still not in the studio yet. This is actually the war room, my little office here on site. Um... I spent the day going back and forth doing some things and I had a lot of paperwork to get caught up on. So I, I'm burning the midnight oil as they say, all that's done. And I knew if I went home, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing this. So I wanted to knock this out while I had the energy to do it. So let's get into this thing. As you can see, these are the boots from Bonanza Boots. These things, I'm gonna say this, these things are absolutely super comfortable like really comfortable um i will rate them up there with some of the more higher priced boots in the terms of comfort um they they held up well i'm not a big fan like we talked about in the last video which i'll put a link in of these uh style boot laces on this particular boot um but so far so good they're holding up and i've worn these boots so i got these boots back in late july uh, from Bonanza Boots. I've reached out to them offering to do a video. Um, all they had to do was send me a pair of boots that I wanted. And so I was looking at the time for a, uh, a pair of boots to ride around on my motorcycle with. I wanted something black. I've never really owned a pair of black boots before and I thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, I came across these guys. Again, I mentioned this in another video. There was a gentleman at one of my job sites who had a pair of these and he swore by them. He said, for the bang for the buck, these are the best boots he's ever worn. And I tend to listen to the to the old gray hairs on the job sites quite a, quite a bit more than I used to when I was younger. So um, I took them up on it. I said, what could it hurt? You know, I got them for free. If they sucked, you would never see this interaction anyways. And uh, if they were mediocre to good, I'd make a, make a video on it. So there's a few uh, things about this boot, though, that I do want to get into that's not so positive. And again, this isn't really on Bonanza at all because, um, you know, it didn't it didn't say they were waterproof. So I've been on a few trips with these boots, um, road trips on the motorcycle. And every time I hop on a motorcycle to do an overnight trip, it's going to rain. So remember that if you ever ride with the Big Yeti. Bring your rain gear, because uh, we're going to find it. Here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's going to rain! Thanks, Ollie. And as soon as it started raining on one of our first trips, the entire boot, <laughs> I was wet and soggy from the get-go. And I think I found it after looking into um, where the problem could be lying. And it's, it's right here on the very top of the tongue, I do believe. Because where my foot gets wet is right along this area and then back down through this way. So, um, but they don't say these are waterproof. So that's on this dumb dumb. Um, for comfort though, hands down, super comfortable. Again, I'm gonna rate these up there with some of the more higher end boots that won't be named. Just imagine who they are. There might be a hockey team named after them. Who knows? Uh, they've held up very well. You can't really see because they're so damn dirty. Because I've been wearing these, not only just riding a motorcycle, but I'm wearing these on the job site too. And I've worn these things probably, I'm going to say a good 75% of the time since July. 
on the job site and they're just they're just a great boot uh one thing i will say these are dusty and musty um it's going to be hard to see but you can see some of that get these guys out of the way bobby you can see some of that wear right there and that's not from just wear and tear on, on wearing the boot um i got these super uh full of concrete one time so this is probably back in august it was right after Brother Mook and I went to the UP, our, U, our UP trip, which I wore these guys on as well. Um, we had a, I had a project where we were pouring some concrete. I got into the mix of it. I had concrete all over these things. I wiped it off, of course, but there's still some on there. So I took them and uh, used my power washer to clean them up good because I wanted to ride, you know, use these to ride on my motorcycle. Didn't want them looking like shit. And uh, that was what happened. So, again, not really on bonanza boots it's more of my thing i think that would have happened with uh with any pair of boots again these are these are pretty good leather um i've been wearing the shit out of them see the wear pattern here on the bottom still looking really good i work primarily 90 percent of the time on concrete um, with what i'm doing here uh with uh healthcare construction so you know they're they're super good um I did have a few of these like around the edge here. Some of the uh, the, the threading kind of pop out like some frail ends, you know, things like that. But nothing crazy, like nothing's coming unstitched. Um, they have this padding on the inside too, which helps with uh, comfort around the ankle. That took me a little bit to get used to. The boots I genuinely wear are just really thin leather up here. And that's, that's pretty darn comfortable for me. This took me a few days to get used to. Um, might add to a little bit of the, the thermal stuff to it, which isn't the best in the summertime, but honestly, I don't feel that my uh, my feet are any more sweaty in these than they are in my other boots or not. Uh, the true test of these boots, though, came on September 21st of this year when we were at the Day of Thunder, uh, brought to you by... Thunder Roads Magazine of Michigan, um, RJ and Miss Allie reached out to me and asked if I would uh, help work the event. And before they got the question out of their mouth, I said yes, because they are good people. And uh, when they need help, they're family, man. So we, we come running. So Brother Mook and I, along with a few of my club brothers and sisters from the Patriot Saints Riding Club, were right there to help out our, our, our dear friends. And I spent nearly 14 hours on these fucking boots. My dogs were barking by the end of the day, but it wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. I was actually nervous. I, I actually brought a pair of tennis shoes just in case these weren't going to uh, hold up, and they held up. And I was standing all freaking day long, man. I I, it, I was busy. That was, a, that was a great weekend. So if you were there, I appreciate meeting you all. But, um, man, I was hurting the next day. So... Again, no, I genuinely work, you know, 10, 12-hour days sometimes. I'm not on my feet all day, every day. I usually sit my big ass here in the office, take care of things. I'm back and forth. I walk the job site. I do all that kind of stuff. But I'm not out there on the floor making things happen like I used to. I'm, I'm here doing both stuff, you know. So, um, But I would say a good eight hours, six to eight hours in a general day. I'm in these things walking around and... I've had them on today. I've been all over the damn place today. These things are, are pretty comfortable, man. So bang for the buck, they're not bad. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of this boot. Um, this boot retails for somewhere around the $170 mark. This boot is the Frontier Mock Toe. I did not get the Steel Toe boot. Um, it does have a, a piece up there though, like a piece of plastic, which I thought in the first video would be an issue. Um, but it's not. I thought for sure that was going to be a pain in the ass. I think what that is to do is keep this formed and looking good. You can kind of see it starts there and it shoots around here. Um, I don't really notice it at all when I'm when I'm wearing the boot. When I'm shifting, I don't have that feel, you know. But um, you get used to it after you know a few shifts up and down. Uh, so again, for one hundred and seventy dollars. Um, they, they see these are a, a premium leather boot. They're not lying about it. Um, I've, I've owned myself 
boots that were in the 220 to 250 dollar range that were uh far less superior than what this one is um i would definitely buy this boot if i had to pay for it they gave it to me um i would be buying this boot so again my my biggest gripe with it um other than it not being waterproof which is my own damn fault because i got to pick out any boot i wanted they gave me the array of their website to pick out a boot and i picked out this one i just personally don't like these um, boot laces i would be changing these out for more of the uh you know the classic style uh, boot lace another thing i've been trying to do some research on bonanza boots i know they are located in california on the southern border uh these boots say they are made in mexico so is that a problem to me not really because it's really much made here in america anymore I'm doing my very best to try to buy more American products. Um, it's hard because there's not much. And then you do get them, they're not very good quality. So I'm not going to hold that against them completely. Um, it's not a, a win, lose, or draw for me. You know, it's it's a sad truth anymore. But, you know, even the, my beloved uh, other boots, they're not made here. I do own one other brand of boots, which I, I continue to wear. Um, those are made right here in the USA, but who knows where they source their parts from, you know, so is what it is. I did reach out to Bonanza Boots, try to get more information about their company that I could not find online. I didn't get nothing back. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, again, would I spend my hard earned money on a pair of these boots again? Yes. And in fact, I am on my computer as we speak, looking at another pair that I'm going to be uh, purchasing for myself. And these ones are the Rancher Classic 8-inch Lacer Boots. I'm going to give these guys a try for myself, um, just for something a little bit different than what I own now. I typically go with these wedge sole boots uh, because of the comfort reasons and the reasons I mean, I'm working on concrete and stuff like that most of my day. So these are very sneaker-like, in my opinion. And of the... Um, I think I've owned four different brands of wedge sole boot. Um, I'm going to rate these at number two. And these are the least expensive ones that I that I own. So um, that's pretty damn good. So overall on this boot, I'm going to give this boot an A-. And uh, that's what it is, man. It's, it's definitely Big Yeti approved. I definitely uh, do recommend reaching out to these guys. Check them out. Their website is www.bonanzaboots.com. I'll put it up here in the video. And, uh, you know, let them know that Big Yeti sent you from Ride With Purpose. I don't have a discount code. I don't have uh, shit for this. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I believe in their in their product. Um, oh, another thing, too. This, uh, this sole on here, it says it's oil-resistant, tough wedge. And uh, I was up on a sheet metal roof yesterday and these guys it was a little frosty these things gripped pretty darn good um if any of you guys have been in construction you're on a steel building you know how slippery those uh roofs can be these things have a a, a surprisingly well <laughs> grip on that kind of stuff much better than my other big money boots that i do own those things are giant ice skates in the winter time i generally don't wear wedge soles in the wintertime for that reason because they become again ice skates um i was not expecting to go up on the roof yesterday i had to crawl my big ass up there to take care of some things with the boys and uh i was a little nervous when i got up there but uh that subsided right away when i knew i had some grip on here so again check out bonanza boots let them know big yeti sent you who knows Maybe someday we'll get something rolling with them. But uh, see you guys. I appreciate you all. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Costs you nothing. Does means the world to me. And as always, ride with purpose. See ya.